Hey, welcome to the Infusionsoft Fundamentals course. This series of videos is designed for an Infusionsoft user on day one. So your very first day with the software. If that is you, you are in the right place. But I also want to pause and welcome uh, any existing Infusionsoft users who, who have found this course and are feeling like maybe they missed what they should have known on day one. And so they're, they're circling back to revisit it now. Um, I also want to welcome anyone who has not yet purchased Infusionsoft but found this course because they are uh, doing their due diligence or trying to set them out, themselves up for success once they get the software. Um, so regardless of where you are in your Infusionsoft journey, um, I know a few things to be true. Number one, you have a business you are probably passionate about and that you believe in. And um, number two, the idea of growing and scaling it manually doesn't feel appealing. And so tools like Infusionsoft are, are, are usually what people turn to when they want a solution for layering automation into their business to help them reach more people, to help serve a broader audience, to help do more of the things that you are already doing without compromising the way you are doing it. So uh, that is, that's in a nutshell what I believe uh, or why I believe automation is so valuable. My name is Greg Jenkins and my business is Monkey Pod Marketing. I worked as a, as a small business owner and then I actually got a job at Infusionsoft and, and was indoctrinated into the um, automation way of thinking. And I saw, as I worked with hundreds of small businesses, I saw the results that automation and Infusionsoft specifically could create as you implemented it successfully into your business. Um, I also saw that there are a number of, of, of times where really successful businesses were not successful with Infusionsoft. And I spotted some trends as to why um, that, that happened or what got in the way of their success. So um, the conversations I wanna have in this uh, series of videos are designed to um, address some of the best practices, dispel some of the myths, and um, to share some of the insights and perspectives with you that I think will best help you capitalize on Infusionsoft and, and the role that automation can play for your business. Now, to do that, um, of course, I'm going to share my thoughts, but uh, I am just one person, and I thought it might be valuable to bring in some, some insights from other uh, Infusionsoft experts, from other Infusionsoft users, from other small business owners. So I have asked about a dozen friends of mine, uh, the same set of questions, and I want to include their responses in the upcoming videos. But um, what I want to underscore for you as we as we dive into this is that as powerful as Infusionsoft is, there is more there than any individual business needs. So when you're approaching Infusionsoft or automation as a concept, I don't want you to think about it as you need to wring every drop of value out of every corner of the software, right? You don't need to automate every aspect of your business. What you need to do is identify the things that you are doing that are not the best use of your time, and that would make a meaningful business impact if you could automate them. And that is where I encourage people start. Now, some of these concepts you may be familiar with if you came from the Marketing Automation 101 course. Um, if you didn't, feel free to check that one out as well. The, the, the concept is that as robust as Infusionsoft is, it's designed for a, a, a variety of business types, for a variety of business um, shapes and sizes, and so, what your business needs is likely going to be unique. And so as you work through these modules, start to consider what the things are your business needs and craft a specific plan that is unique to you and what your success looks like when Infusionsoft is implemented successfully into your business. Okay, so the last thing I will leave you with as we get into the course content here is the formula that I believe is required to produce results with Infusionsoft. And that is the tool plus the blueprint, plus the expertise. So the tool is Infusionsoft. You already have that part of the equation. The blueprint is your strategy. That's what you as the, the visionary or the, the business owner or the marketing manager will be bringing to the table. That is what you're setting out to use Infusionsoft to do. And the third piece of the puzzle is expertise. As powerful as Infusionsoft is, someone still needs to tell it what to do, right? It's not going to just read your mind. And I underscore that because some people buy Infusionsoft thinking Infusionsoft is a solution. And if they just flip it on, it'll suddenly start working for them. Um, but I like to reframe that for people because the reality is Infusionsoft is great, but it is just a tool. 
And as any tool, it is only as powerful as the person who wields it and the strategy that they are that they are implementing with that tool. So think of Infusionsoft as the tool. Um, your strategy is the blueprint that you are building, and somebody has to actually press the buttons, whether that's you or or a team member or a contractor. Now, um, that is the the formula that I believe will be most um, uh, conducive to producing the types of results that that you probably want from this software. So uh, that is it for now. Without any further ado. Uh, let's get into the course content. I'll see you in the next module.